guys it's Steph welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about what happened literally from the day before my full hip replacement up until now really um, what happened while I was in the hospital how the operation went all of that stuff I'm gonna be explaining and updating you guys on my recovery so far first things first the prep before the surgery the day before the surgery I had to wash down with hippie scrub which is basically like an antibacterial um, soap shampoo type of thing um, so I had to wash down with that the day before and the morning of I wasn't allowed to eat or drink after midnight the day before I could only have like sips of water I guess that's just like normal stuff you do before surgery anyway um, but it was new to me because I've never had surgery before um, so my admission time was half seven in the morning so thankfully the hospital which is Ashford Hospital um, here in Surrey is actually I'm not sure if it's in Surrey it's near Staines if you're from the area you might know where that is um, it was half seven in the morning when um, we drove there so it was only about a 20 25 minute drive um, I was admitted by the nurse um, thankfully I had like my own side room which was really really nice um, for the admission you know to settle in and everything because I was quite nervous I had my own side room and then shortly after that um, different staff members started coming in to like ask me questions and you know prepare me for the operation I was seen by the Adnis anesthetist you know the people that give you the anesthesia and look after you for the whole the whole duration of the surgery and um, they were really nice like all of the staff were really really nice I have to say like I didn't have a single bad word to say about anyone um, so after I spoke to the anesthetist my surgeon also came to speak to me briefly um, and he was literally like it's not too late to change your mind now it's a very big decision you know I completely understand that you're feeling nervous but I was like no 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 I'm fine um, and then after all of that I had to get changed into my gear and I was wheeled off into the anesthesia room I chose to be under like full general anesthetic because there was also an option of just being heavily sedated so you're not like completely out and you might be able to like hear them talking or feel that like okay they're moving my leg now but you won't feel any pain but like the thought of that the thought of even hearing them like you know hammering away at my bones and breaking stuff oh my god no i was like no i think i'll just i'll take i'll take the full the full anesthesia like i don't i don't need to hear anything i just want to go to sleep and wake up and it's done like that's it so that's exactly what happened really i was given an epidural first um and that worked pretty quickly like i within about a few seconds like I couldn't feel my legs then I got like really nauseous I think um, they also gave me antibiotics IV as well that just like dropped every like my blood pressure dropped really really low so I was feeling really sick um, but that didn't really last for long because the next thing I knew I was in the recovery room and as far as I'm aware everything went well um, when I went back to my room, um, Tony was there waiting for me, so it was really nice to see him. But I was so drowsy, like I was finding it so difficult to like stay awake. But I was like fighting it at the same time because I wanted to like see what was going on, and people were coming in to talk to me and everything, and I wanted to be like present for it. Um, but not too long after I came back to the ward, I started to feel really, really nauseous and. <sighs> let me just tell you now like I it was one of the worst times ever like I've had like vomiting bugs and stuff before so I mean it's not like I've never gotten sick before but this was the worst I've ever had like it was awful like I I think I threw up about five or six times like I could not keep any food down I was crying like every time I got sick I was crying I was like why is this happening to me um, I think I was just allergic to the anesthesia though and it was just like you know coming out of my system I couldn't even take any oral medication when the night nurse came she gave me some medication and she literally had not even walked out of my room yet and I just like vomited everything out so yeah but thankfully that was you know that was only on the first day um on the second day i was seen by the physiotherapist and she was really lovely as well she you know showed me how to get out of bed properly 
how to you know walk with the frame and mind you like for the whole of the first day I hadn't gotten out of bed so I had to use a bedpan I had to like wash in bed it was very very different for me because usually I'm the nurse you know doing that for other people if needed but in this case I was the patient so it was kind of interesting to have the whole role reversal thing I also had like these um I don't know how to explain it these like straps around both of my calves attached to like a machine that would like vibrate um, because I was so stationary to prevent like blood clots and to keep the muscles in my legs and the um, vessels moving um, I had those things around my legs which I'd never seen before so I think that was quite cool um, but yeah I was walking on day two not walking properly but like with a walking frame on day three I think I moved rooms on day three I did some more physio and then on day three I moved to crutches and um, which I'm still using at the moment um, uh, so yeah on day three I was moved into a bay and there was three other people in this bay they were really really lovely women it was all females so I had the operation on Monday the 13th and I was discharged on Friday I was meant to be going home on Thursday but they didn't have my take-home medications ready so I had to stay an extra night I'm home now and I'm feeling I'm feeling better today but to be honest like when I first came home I'm, I was like oh my god I want to go back to hospital like there's no call bell you know if you need anything you just press the bell and you know they give you like water food drink whatever you want like it basically was like a hotel with like room service um I never thought I would actually enjoy staying in hospital but now I'm home it's actually very difficult um trying to like get around and get things done and don't get me wrong like Tony my boyfriend is around and he's doing amazingly like he has been doing everything for me like I haven't been able to shower so I need to like wash over a basin um, and he's been helping me with that like because I literally could not even put on my own socks and underwear properly like he has to do everything for me and another thing as well that I would say I miss about being in hospital is the medication like I had morphine in um, hospital and obviously they can't give you morphine to take home with you so I was given tramadol instead which I mean it works but it just was not even close to the amount of like the effect that morphine had um, and now I know why they say it's a very addictive drug because I was literally like I need morphine I need morphine like I swear I was having some kind of psychological withdrawals when I came home um, but yeah the medication that I came home with um, I was given tramadol I was given cyclozine for nausea associated with the tramadol um, ibuprofen paracetamol I also have to do a daily injection uh, it's a blood thinner called Clexane basically to prevent like blood clots and embolisms I also have to wear socks um, these <laughs> beautiful oh no wait I forgot I can't I can't raise my feet up sorry I can't show you I was gonna like show you the socks that I have on I look like an old biddy with these socks on like I'm not even gonna lie but what can you do I have to wear these compression socks for I think the full six week recovery time I have to wear it for um, but that's neither here nor there I don't have a choice so I have to do it and I have an appointment with my surgeon in six weeks time when I came home on Friday Friday was fine but then on Saturday I noticed that my one of my legs is like significantly longer than the other one as in the operated leg is now longer than the non-operated leg and I knew that was always going to be a risk but it was just I was like there's a three inch difference like this cannot be normal there's no way my legs are staying like this I was freaking out I'm really hoping that the leg like the difference is just because of swelling and trauma to my like muscles which are unbelievably sore by the way like oh my god the pain definitely got worse when I got home probably because like I said I was on morphine when I was in the hospital and now I don't have morphine anymore so I can actually feel the pain um, but I mean there's nothing I can do about that really I don't want to continue to just take lots and lots of medication it's not really the best idea I don't want to get hooked on it um, but yeah so I'm home now and I'm using crutches one leg is longer than the other but it's not as bad as it was when I first got home so I'm thinking it is the um, the trauma to that side my thigh my whole thigh and like my hip area is very 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 swollen 
um, my feet are very swollen as well the operated side is more swollen than the other side but I guess because I'm not mobilizing that much and because I've just been through like a huge operation I'm like carrying a lot of fluid um, so like my feet are really swollen thighs are swollen um, I'm not as nauseous as I was anymore but I think that's because I've like you know come off the really hardcore medication um, but yeah I'm just trying to eat as healthy as I can so my scar heals properly I saw my scar for the first time on Thursday I think yeah on Thursday um, the nurse came and she asked me if she could have a look at it to change the dressing that was that was the first time that the dressing was taken off since the operation like I hadn't seen the scar or anything and initially when I first saw it like I'll be completely honest I was like oh my god it looks horrible oh my god I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life but I think that was just like the initial shock like now I have no problem with it whatsoever like I love it like it's actually it's part of who I am and it tells a story of like what I've been through um and I'm not really someone who believes that like scars and birthmarks and imperfections like that are something to be ashamed of anyway i'll insert a picture of the scar um just to warn you it is a bit graphic i have a total of about 32 staples in it i think um i tried to record yesterday when i got this the dressing change i went to my local walk-in clinic yesterday to get the practice nurse to change it but she refused for me to film in the room which I thought was really stupid so I just asked her to take a picture instead so I got a picture and um, which I'll insert now um yeah that's that's my scar it's quite long um but it's healing really nicely like I'm really really happy with how it looks um there's no infection no weeping like no blood or anything when the dressing came off it was clean like there was she didn't even have to wipe it or clean it or anything she just put another dressing back on so um i have to leave it for another seven days so on monday the 28th i think next monday or this coming monday um i'm going to be getting the staples taken out and then i'll start using like bio oil healing cream stuff like that for scar tissue and yeah hopefully it'll just continue to heal and i'll be you know my normal self again <laughs> um but yeah i think that's pretty much all i have to update at the moment make sure to follow me on instagram i'm really active on instagram i've been posting like lots of pictures and lots of stories as well um if you go onto my highlights on instagram there is one called hip replacement so there there's like a few clips from you know just random moments while i was in hospital and all of that um and yeah follow me on instagram make sure to subscribe for more updates um if you have any questions let me know and i guess i'll see you in the next one